Hey everybody, it's Crappy here. Hope everybody's doing great out there. I'm doing pretty good myself. Well, uh, I've been working on my uh, Feed the Six and Eight at the $10 level with 44 inside. And uh, that's been a couple years ago. I was, I was doing 25. So what I liked about that strategy is it was a low lower startup but to do 110 inside you get busted with some early sevens that's a lot of loss um so it was a low investment with a high reward basically and uh now i'm doing it with 44 inside on a 10 dollar table there again i'm practicing for my cruise or getting ready for my cruise the 27th of uh february i'll be going out and I will be hitting the casino every night. Looking forward to it. I wish I could get more time to go to the casino. I just don't really have it with work and everything. And working on some projects at home and stuff. Oh, um, I changed the lighting a little bit. What do you think? Did you like the other lighting or this kind of moody, mood lighting? This mood lighting going on right here. All right. We're going to do 10 shooters. And if I lose this, I will play cold table and recover my bankroll. So I've got 440. There's four, there's 300, 120, and 20 more makes 440. Okay, so that's enough for 10 shooters. And I'm gonna move the profits over here. I like to, I like to do that when I'm at the casino. I'll have my back rack with my or my front rack with my um, money for 10 shooters and then my back rack but not all strategies are for 10 shooters but this one I'm gonna do it like that and we'll just see how we come out we just need one or two good ones one or two good ones the way you can lose with this you get a bunch of point sevens a bunch of early sevens and you don't really collect that's any strategy can lose but I did really good. I started with only 150 and turned it into about 450, something like that, in practice. So I lay it out here and we are ready to roll. Let's do this thing. All right, coming out. And we got a nine for a point. All right, we're going to give the dealer $44. 44. And for those of you that don't know, the six and the eight have to be bet increments of six, increments of six. The rest of them are five. Okay, that's why I do twelve dollars on the six and the eight. So we got ten dollars, twelve dollars, twelve dollars, ten dollars. We're only collecting on sixes and eights. The five is for our pressing, because if you just play inside or whatever and all that without pressing, eventually it's going to beat you. So you have to have a plan for. Uh, how you're gonna press and looky right there oh the five and the two the one that says we're through all right we started off excited happy and now it's just gloom but we are not giving up here we go coming out again and we got an eight that is great. All right, going to 44. Throw 44 to the dealer, tell me one inside. All right, let's see what happens. And we get a nine. That's right on time. All right, that's gonna pay us $14. We're gonna collect two, and we're gonna press up our eight. I use the nine to press the eight, the five to press the six. It's just the way I do it. You can do it however you want. All right, so now we got a twenty-four eight. Now we hit a six. Six will pay us uh, fourteen. We're just going to collect on the six. So I'm going to take fifteen and drop one back. All right, we rolling, and we hit a ten. That don't help us. And we hit the eight, and that is great. That's our point. All right, 24 on the eight. You're gonna pay us 28 smackers. 
All right, now I'm supposed to be putting that over here, and I collected 14 earlier. Here, I'm already messing up my plan. I was putting it all in one bankroll before, that's why I got confused. So this goes in our profit rack. Profit rack. All right, and here's something else I do. I play, I don't know if you know the old story about the bird in the hand, and is better than five in the bush. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I may hit the eight ten times. You can try it both ways. I'm going to collect this too, and it's actually going to go into my profit pile. All right, so it's kind of like getting another hit. All right, that's the way I play. All right, coming out. Bets are off. Good thing, because there's a set. Bets are off on come outs. Crappy, why don't you work come outs? Because you can hit a bunch of sevens in a row. Not to say you can't do it any other way, but it's more likely you're going to hit them in a row and you're going to end up losing. All right, five's the point. And we sevened out again. That's bad news. We got a little, little bit out of that one. All right, we are coming out. Shooter number three. And we get some snake eyes. And we hit a seven. And we hit the ten. All right, we're going to give the dealer 44. 44. Get the chips here in line. And we are inside. Here we go. And we hit the eight. All right, that's going to pay us 14. I'm going to take 15, drop one. Remember, we always collect on the six and the eight. We always press with the nine and the five. That's the way I play. And you can play this. There's another eight. Take 15 for one. Uh, there's another way to play this too, is you don't play the six and the eight, you let that feed it over here, and then you only have to start with 20 bucks. So therefore you only need $200. That's for cheapskates that want to do that. I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. And we hit another eight, three eights in a row. That is spectacular. We'll take 15 for one. Here we go. And we hit a midnight, not gonna help us. And we hit the nine, that's right on time. It's gonna pay us 14. I am going to collect two, and I'm gonna press my eight up to 24. All right, now we need another eight. And we hit a four, that's not a score. Get another four back to back fours. There's an eight, and that is great. Hard way, even. That's going to pay us $28. Collect that up. I'm going to drop this back down to 12, and I'm going to collect that. Like I said, you can leave that up there if you want. This next roll might be an eight, but and there's a nine. We're going to build it back up again. All right, that nine will pay us 14. We're going to collect two. There we go. We got a $24 eight now. Now we want another eight. We hit another nine. We're building that eight up. Let's tower that baby up. All right, we'll collect two. I'll clean this up later. I'll just build build it up nice and tall. <clears throat> the dealer will usually clean that up for you. There is a five. We're building up the other side. Now here's the problem now. We're doing all this and we're not collecting. But we're getting ready for it to be collect. But it can also all go away in one roll. But that's the way. Just stick to the plan. Eventually it should come out for you. There's another five. We are building up. It's going to pay us 14. Collect 
two here. And I'm going to build this up too. There we go. Look at them. We need a six or an eight. That'd be great. And we hit the eight, and that is awesome. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 36 pays 42. There's 40. And there is 2. Okay, and we're going to knock this back down to 12. And we're going to collect all of this. Our little thing over here is looking pretty dang decent, I must say. I like it. All right, now we're back down to 12 on the 8. Here we go. And we hit the 6 now. Oh, look at that. We know there's 36 on here. I'll leave that over there. That's going to pay us 42. We're going to collect that. Back to the start, we are looking good. Look at that. All right, there's a five. We're building it back up, building it back up. All right, I'm gonna take a 15 for one, drop one back, and then I'm gonna grab two out of here. Same difference. All right, we got a $24 six now. Here we go. We hit that nine. We're building that eight back up. All right. I'll pay it in 14. It's easier that way. And then collect two. And we're going to build our eight up. At any time, if you need to, especially if you're not doing good uh, and you get a big build up up there and you need enough for another shooter, go by all means, pull that back down. But let's leave it up there and see what happens. Come on. We hit another five. We are still building up. It's going to pay us 14. Collecting two. Look at that. We're back to $36 on our six. We need a six. We hit a craps three. That don't help me. We hit another back to back craps three. We hit a snake eyes. Look at that. Three craps in a row. And we sevened out. We made money on that. You may feel discouraged about giving all this up. But got some all good things must end. All good things must end. Alright. I am going to clean this up a little bit. I need some more red over here. That's a hundred right here. I'm gonna stick a hundred right there. And that's twenty. There we go. We are looking good. Looking good. All right, coming out. And we hit a four. We're going to do 44 inside, so we're going to have to deal with 50. And he will give us our $6 change. And we'll stack up the 44. All right, here we roll. And we hit a four, and that's our point. We are coming out and our bets are off. And we hit the six. All right, here we go. There we go, we hit the six back to back points. All right, that's gonna pay us 14. I'm gonna take 15 for one. And we are coming out again, our bets are off. <clears throat> we hit another six for a point. All right, here we go. Yo, 11. 
And we sevened out. Not so good on that shooter. Not so good. We're still looking pretty good. Like I said, you only need a couple good ones. All right, we are coming out. And we got a seven on the come out. And we hit the five for our point. All right, let's give the dealer 50. He'll give us our six dollars and change. And we will wrap the stack up our 44. set and we are rolling and we hit the five man we are smoking some points all right that five will pay us 14 take keep two of it you know something interesting i thought you could do with this two dollars every time you got it left slap it over here on the hard ways i'm not a big hard way better i think it's kind of the odds are against you they're not really paying you enough, in my opinion, but anyway, that's something you could do with it. All right, coming out. Our bets are off. If you're a hard way better, that might be the way to go. All right, nine's our point. And we hit a four the hard way, talking about hard ways. And we sevened out. Oh, well. Can all be perfect, can it? All right, we are coming out. I don't even know what shooter we're on. Yo, 11. We still got a few shooters left. Four will be our point. All right, I'll do, I can do, I got enough to do it like this. 44 to the dealer. So, all right, we rolling, and we hit a yo 11. That don't help. We're way over there. Oh man, we hit a seven. Six and the one, the one that says we're done. We need to pick this up or we're going to end up losing. We got to have a couple hot shooters in there. All right, coming out, and we hit a five for a point. All right, here's 50, get six dollars and change, and do our 44. Forty-four inside, sir, thank you. We got to do a bet for the dealers too. And we hit a five, that's our point. And that's gonna pay us 14. I'm gonna collect two of it. Make it look like 24 right there and we are coming out and our bets are off. We get a craps three on the come out. And we hit an eight the hard way. All right, here we go. We need a six. We got sixes, we got two of them, but that's 12. Midnight, we hit, and we hit the six. There we go. We needed to collect. We haven't collected one in a while. All right, 24 on there is gonna pay us 28. 28, we're gonna knock this down to 12. We're gonna collect all this. All these pretty chips, put them over here in our rack. All right, we roll them. And we hit another six. See, that would have been good to have it up there, but all right, I'll take uh, 15 for one on that. That's a pure collect. And we hit another six. Would have been nice to have it up there, wouldn't it? You could try it both ways, all right? Take 15 for one, we're rolling, and we hit the nine. It's gonna pay us 14, 
collect two of it. We have a $24 8 now. Here we go. And we hit the six again. Whoa, we are pounding some sixes. All right, I'll do 15 for one. And we seven out. Oh, I hit that. No, I didn't hit the eight. Oh, okay. I thought I hit the point again. I'm notorious for that, ain't I? Getting all excited and not paying attention, but I did not do it that time. You know how I love all those guys that like like to point out my mistakes. We are in a little bit of going into overtime, but we got enough for a couple shooters here. Let's finish them out. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. All right, there's a five. All right, we'll do 50. We'll get $6 and change. All right. And we got a... Do 44 inside. It'd be nice if I put my bets up, wouldn't it? I paid for them. I think I'd put a couple bucks in there because it shouldn't have worked out to where it did. All right. And we hit the nine. That's going to pay us 14. Collecting two. All right. We want to hit an eight now, don't we? And we hit another nine. Ooh, come over here. Had to do some fancy stick work right there. That's going to pay me 14. Collect two. We're going up to, what, 36. Dollar eight. We need an eight. Give me an eight. Give me an eight. Oh, I knew it could be an eight when I saw that one. There's a four. And there is the eight, the six and the two. Look at that. We got a $36 eight. That will pay us $42. And I'm going to knock it down to 12. That's just the way I play. You may disagree. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. When you take it, take it down. All right, <coughs> we rolling. There, <laughs> and there's one of them times if we had that 42 up there again, wouldn't it? Uh, but we're gonna take this happily. We're gonna take our 15 and drop one back. Take it happily. And we get some snake eyes. And we sevened out. Oh. All right, we are coming out. Looks like we got enough for two more shooters. We are way into overtime, but I'm gonna keep rolling. That was a yo 11. There's a 10, the hard way. All right, I'm gonna drop 50. Get $6 and change. And we're gonna do our 44. Oops. Thank you, dealer. All right. Let's see if we can make some money on this shooter. And we can't. The six and the one. The one that says we're done. Point seven. That's the hardest. All right. We are coming out. And there's a seven on the come out. That's where we want to see it. And we got a nine for a point. Last shooter. There's 40, one, two, three, four. I must have put $2 of that money earlier in here. So that goes in the profit pile. All right, so we got 42. That's our last shooter. Then we will add this thing up. Hopefully we make some money on this shooter. All right, last shooter. Look, we're looking good over here. I don't know if we made a whole lot, but oops, lean in. It looks like a yellow 11 to me. Yellow 11. And we hit a 
five. That'll pay us 14. Collect the two. Make our six look like 24. We roll it and we hit the 10 on the end. And we hit that six. There you go. That's going to pay us 28. I'm going to knock this down because that's the way I do it. Wow. I need to get rid of some of this red right here. Let me drop one over here and get another hundo. And this is 20. We're getting full in our rack. That's, is that, that's a good sign, ain't it? All right. We rolling. And we hit the nine. And that is our point. And that's going to pay us $14. $14. And we're going to make our eight look like 24. And we are coming out and our bets are off. And we hit the eight. Too bad our bets were off on that time, right? All right, give us another eight. And we hit a five. We're building up the other side. It's going to pay us 14. We'll collect the two. I kind of like that idea of putting that two dollars on hard ways every time when you hit a five or nine it could pay off there we go we got a six we got a twenty four dollar six that's going to pay us twenty eight pull that baby down got to be disciplined we're making some money here a little bit all right we rolling Last shooter, and we hit the nine. All right, that's going to pay us 14. We're going to collect two. And now we got a $36 eight. We need an eight. We, need eight. we hit a five. Building up the other side. All right, it's going to pay us 14. Collect two. Here we go. You can play this at any level. Like 25. You can play it at black chips if you want. If you got the bankroll. All right. There's a 10. There's a yo. We need an 8. There's another 10. We hitting them 10s there. There's another 10 the hard way. People would be happy about that, wouldn't they? Oh, and we 7 out. Well, that's all she wrote. We had a bunch up there, didn't we? All right, let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. All right, this is 20 right here. That's full. That's a hundred. Love these little chip racks. There's a hundred. All right. There's two ten dollar. There is fifty dollar. Here's 500. So one, two, three, four, four, four hundred, and let's put four. I don't have enough to do to do it right. Four fifty. Yeah, I'll change it out real quick. There we go. That is our original bankroll, 440. We only made 100 and uh, $22, 122 in profit. I think that's pretty good. So what would I do after that? Here we are 30 minutes in. I would, I would take this right here, 
this hundred and something, stick it in my pocket, and start back over again. Now, let's say we only ended up with that much, with 300 and something. I would grind out $10 cold table until I got my money back. And then I would start and do it again. All right, y'all. Sorry we went late with that one. That one took a little longer. And I tried not to chatty chat too much. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the comments up. Tell me how much you don't like me or how much you like me. And uh, I'm cruising on the 27th on Royal Caribbean. Uh, Liberty of the Seas. If you can get on the boat, I'll be playing in the casino every night. We can have some fun. But anyway, I think there's still some seats left. A buddy of mine just got on there. All right, y'all. Don't crap out.